When one considers Western civilization, the hero ideal, more than religion and capitalism is our national and economic ideology. To varying degrees, we subscribe to the myths that there are people who are somehow better than us, who possess an uncannily elevated ability to focus, to work, to think, and to act, and that these people's extraordinary abilities mean that they are more worthy of moral authority and economic prosperity. When we talk about ourselves, these are the stories that we tell. This is our mythology and our popularized history. This is Gilgamesh, Ulysses, and Zeus. This is George Washington, Alexander Hamilton, and Ragged Dick. These are, of course, the fictions we consume. This is Batman, Wonder Woman, and Spider-Man. Even when we seek to make that narrative more inclusive, we end up telling the same story. One person, incredible will, divine ability on a mission to save us all. This is Susan B. Anthony, Martin Luther King Jr., and Cesar Chavez. These are the athletes we cheer for. These are the leaders we want to elect. These are the people who we hope will teach our children. We want them all to have hero-like qualities. The problem with this narrative is not those people. They are brilliant. The problem with this narrative is that it erases the complicated calculus of becoming and being a hero, a leader, a change agent, a teacher. This narrative does not allow heroes to be imperfect or to be nuanced. It does not allow them to grow tired, to fail, to learn publicly, or to grieve. As such, it is exclusive. Any narrative that mutes or denies imperfection silences and refuses our essential humanity.